Hi, I am Harish Goteti and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I want to talk about something very specific like a hands-on thing uh, which is I want to show you uh, I want to explain you how to create AWS partner service offering. So partner service offering is the core uh, you know you know that this is a core part of your partner uh, business. This is exactly what determines what you want to offer to your target customers and how do you you know how do you want to offer it and uh, that's you know and aws requires you to attach each opportunity with the service offering that is that you have it in the system right so now today we'll see what does it take to actually create an aws partner service offering so let's dive in so what is a service offering um, so this is my definition. Um, so service offering is a well-defined technical or business outcome you can deliver to your customer by using one or more AWS services and your team's expertise. So that's what is a service offering. So it has to be a well-defined technical or business outcome that you can deliver, uh, you know, using one or more AWS services. It could be, you know, DevOps, it could be database, it could be migration, whatever it is, the offering uh, and your team's expertise. That's what exactly is a service offering. So. How to create a service offering these are the four steps that you need to take in order to do in order to create a service offering first you have to define obviously define the service offering second you have to update your website with a new page for the service offering third you have to create the service offering in aws partner central and fourth you have to apply for an aws partner sorry aws review to publish the offering in aws partner solutions finder so that review is called ftr foundational technical review once your service offering goes through the foundation technical review and gets approved it gets published on your partner solutions finder so these are the four steps that you need to go ahead and complete in order for your you know to to start offering your services to target aws customers so how do you define a service offering so here's it so these are all the i mean you can take a note of it take a screenshot of it but this is all things that you need to be able to define your service offering first thing is obviously the name of the service offering is it uh, you know it could be like hey uh, data lake setup or data lake uh, consulting or you know whatever it is right or dynamo db you know uh, dynamo db cluster setup right so it, very specific service offering that you want to offer right the second thing is service offering description what does it do right what is that service offering about um, service offering categories which category of you know aws does it belong to is it devops is it migration is it database is it uh, you know AI, generative AI, uh, you know, whatever the category is, you have to be very clear on what category it belongs to. Uh, target customer segment, are you tar going to target small businesses, enterprises, mid-size or professional practice forms? You know, you have to have a target customer segment. Then target customer industry, is it an industry specific offering? For example, if you're offering something related to IoT, it will be very specific to, auto, I mean, it could be specific to uh, automotive or industrial type things, right? So target customer industry. So average deal size, like what kind of deals are you looking at? Are you are you willing to take a deal that is like $2,000, $3,000? Uh, or are you focusing on deals that are over $100,000? So you have to have that idea so that that helps you in the marketing of your service offering in the future. So target customer persona. So are you going to target the C-level people, IT directors, managers, business owners, or technical professionals? You have to have an idea on who the target customer persona is. So next thing is um, top three ways your service offering helps your customers. So how is it going to help your customers? Is it help, going to help them scale on demand, deploy applications rapidly, reduce costs or migrate? You have to um, you know identify at least three ways on how your service offering is going to uh, help your target customers. The next one is um, what are the services, AWS services associated with this offering? So what are the services that you are going to use to 
or you know to deliver this service offering right that's the next thing um, so are there any case studies available did you do this in the past are there any case studies that are available for this um, the next step is do you what do you want to sell through marketplace so you can you can go ahead and sell even consulting offers through service offerings through marketplace do you want to do that so because if you want to do that then it's a different process so you have to go ahead and register on the marketing central as a seller so there is other things that you have to do so next thing is certified team members associated with this service offering so who do we have on your team who do you have on your team who are certified uh, AWS certified and what kind of certifications they have and how are they uh, you know how are they suitable to offer this service offering so you have to be very clear on that so these are things that helps you define a service offering as you see it, it takes a while it's an exercise maybe you spend an hour two or three to define your service offering very clearly right so the next thing is update the website so there is something called aws service offering found ftr technical controls calibration guide yeah that is a long name um, so that helps you uh, that actually helps you guides you on how to define your service offerings on your website right so uh, that's available as part of the partner central resource you can download it read it and update your website accordingly so the next thing is step is to create service offering so you log into the partner central under build solutions option you can create a new service offering so you have to go ahead and do that to create the service offering next is apply for ftr process so by ft uh, by applying it to an a foundational technical review the offering will get published on partner solutions finder here one of the service offerings i created for my uh, partner thing business is so managed aws backup i went through the ftr process as you see the ftr status is approved and solution status is active and if you see other practices on partner solutions finder for for my uh, partner client so it is available um, it is available on the part on the under practices so so this is what i do so the process is not easy it's going to take a while to do all the documentation but that's how it is done and it is available for you know on on the partner solutions finder so these these are the steps that you need to take to create your partner uh, service offering and take it to the market right so get it published on on aws uh, partner solutions finder so that you can start offering so what does it do when you get get it published is basically aws says when, when they do the review they'll know that and uh, it, it it guarantees the customer target customer that your team is capable of delivering that solution and it is vetted by aws so that is it adds more value than you saying just hey we do manage backup right so it it, it it offers one more layer of you know adds trust or uh, you know confidence to your customer to you have you as a partner to deliver that service offering so yeah that's that's what i wanted to share today on how to get your service or create a service offering and offer it to and get published on partner solutions finder so i hope this video is useful go ahead subscribe to this channel and i'm going to launch a new channel for especially for the technical content and i'm going to talk about it in you know in the in my next video so stay tuned and uh, thank you for watching this video